What's going on everyone, the competitor back with another video. We're going to be going over my custom Shang Tsung variation that I think is going to be the strongest in the next patch, assuming the custom variation system is going to work the same way and these moves aren't banned, which I don't see why they would be. But first I wanted to give a shout out to my superstars for the channel, Dman2718 and Mark4n. Thank you for supporting me, it really helps a lot. Uh, you guys can join below to get access to the Discord and help support me directly because we all know how YouTube likes to demonetize some of these MK videos. So I wanted to get into this. We have the man Big Sungus. Alright, we have Big Sungus right here. The man in the room. We have Big Sungus. He is scary. He is very scary. So, if you guys want to see that as an emote, let me know. <laughs> so, what do we have in this custom variation? That is just going to simply be ground eruption and shake. It doesn't seem like anything special right off the bat, right? It's whatever, you know, it's just like Warlock, but with a shake, so what does that matter? Well... What's Warlock's one weakness? He gets outzoned by a few people. Because Shang is a zoner, right? He has a scary game plan. If he hits a straight skull, that's plus enough to guarantee a corpse drop. Like, they have to hold that. So, full screen, Shang outzones a lot of people. Especially on trades. Like, if Shang trades with Johnny Force Balls, Shang still wins the trade and can body drop before Johnny can throw another one. That's just a quick example, but um, his zoning is really scary. This has a lot of hit advantage. So, that's full screen. Mid screen, he has the up skulls. The up skulls are very dangerous because they're good at controlling this entire space right here. So, like, he has the close ones and the far range ones. So, that's a lot of screen that you can cover with the special attack. Which I think is very important for combo potential, and among other things as well. So like, you know, pokes into it, and just like walking back, it catches jump-ins. It's a crazy good move. You guys know this. You guys see Warlock players. You saw, you know, Cowboy using him, Foxy. He's really, really strong and almost has no weaknesses. His biggest weakness was zoning. Characters perhaps like Robocop, Cetrion and characters with favorable trades like Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero's EX Ice Ball and Dead of Winter and now, you know, will be in custom variations. So how do you deal with that? You get the smoke shake. You take a character's weakness, which is getting zoned out, getting counter zoned, and you have a move that just completely negates it. You don't have to worry about it. I'll show you an example, right? Like, let's just set Robocop to block for a couple seconds. And then, oh, I'm going to low gunshot, right? And you know this is going to happen. You know, you do your hell sparks. My bad, up skulls. We'll just do a string into it. Oh, he's not blocking long enough. Nah, he's not blocking long enough. You guys get the point. So you do that, right? And then he's going to shoot. And you know Robocop's gonna shoot, because what else is he gonna do from that range? Like, what else can he do? Jump? He'll get caught by more Hell Sparks. Up Skulls, whatever you wanna call them. That's just MKX habit with Shinai. Right, so to push back, obviously he's gonna do a gunshot until you condition him not to. With... Smoke Parry. It's such a strong option. It's such a strong option for counter zoning. You make a read on Cetrion, boom, you know, smoke, smoke teleport, just counter it. It's insane. And you know, if you hit two in a row, you get that, uh, you get that crushing blow, right? One, and then, you know, they shoot another projectile or whatever. Whoops, a little bit slow. And boom, crushing blow. Now, I don't think, you know, there are projectiles that are unreactable like you know reacting to robocop's gunshot that's that's pretty fast like 
That's kind of hard to do. But looking at, you know, problem characters that do really well because of the trades, like when I play against Sub-Zero players, you know, they'll just jump back. They'll be like, okay, you know, I'll eat this. And then as soon as he tries to throw a straight ball, a straight fireball, I'll ice ball, EX ice ball right through it. Well, let's see what happens. Obviously, you guys know it's going to smoke parry him, but I'm just trying to get the point across that, you know, this is a really, really powerful variation because there are top players that say Shang has very, very few losing matchups, if any at all, in Warlock. And now being able to do that... You know, you can react to slow projectiles like that easily. Just keep your zoning, you know? Oops, wrong input. But, you know, you guys see you guys see why Shang is scary now? Like, not that he wasn't before, but just having this tool set is, like, mind-blowing to me. Like, it's insane. Being able to parry any projectile as a zoner, as a very scary zoner. Like, that's that's just absurd. I don't know. That's just my take, guys. What do you think? Is is big is big Shang big Sungus? Uh Shang Sungus? Is he scary? Or what do you guys think? What do you think his best variation could be? I might actually start playing Shang again because of this. Like I played Warlock for quite a bit, uh, but I don't know, it kind of got a little bit boring, and I went back to really using Johnny a lot more, but I think I think this variation of Shang Tsung is absolutely terrifying. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, what loadout would you use with Shang, what's your favorite character to mess around with custom variations so far? Uh, I've been having a lot of fun, Shang, Cabal, Scorpion, and of course Johnny, but you know, you guys will see that in a later video coming soon, so don't worry. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed, uh, especially this amazing drawing by me. So, alright, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials, more concept videos, more ranked matches, and all that good stuff. And once again, thank you guys who joined the channel, it really helps support me. Alright, peace out.